life. Because if we continue to eat the way we eat and to live the way we live, the body will break down. The body has an innate tendency to disintegrate. Yes, entropy. That's decay, that's heat loss. The body has an innate ten ten tendency to there is an instinct, it's the death instinct, it's called thanatos, you know, in psychology they know it. Because life is a very unstable form. The stable forms in the universe are inert, dead. Organic life as such as we are is very unstable. So there is within our organic form, there is an instinct to go back to stability, to go back to inorganic form. Unfortunately, that instinct is death. Now, the one truth that nobody has any argument about is that we are all going to die. There are lots of disputes what happens after we die. <laughs> yeah, but no religions are made on death because you know there is something that you prefer not to. But how will you end? Please understand we are not living in normal times. You are living in times now where people can reasonably expect to live 80 years, 90 years. <laughs> seems to be a depressing thought. <laughs> In the Rig Veda, it is clearly written that the span of a human life is 116 years. If you don't live that long, then you cannot accomplish all that is possible to accomplish as a human being. So that should be the goal in every human being, you know, to live that long. But we don't like to live that long because we know our body betrays us. Our body will start disintegrating, we will start becoming old, we will start becoming feeble, our bones become brittle, we become mentally vacant, our brains don't support us anymore, we get Alzheimer's, we get Parkinson's. What we do? These processes that we do, whether it is the physical, which is the Hatha Yoga or the meditation or the Kriya, all these processes are so that up to the day our karma runs out, up to that day we can live at the most optimal level possible. We can be physically active, we can be mentally active, we can be emotionally stable, we can be And there is another thing you can do. You can consciously evolve yourself. You can consciously evolve your level of mind. You can consciously evolve your body. You can consciously evolve your emotions. Which is the real reason. Conscious evolution. You know, and we are living in a pretty extraordinary time today when these things which used to be all secret and taught only after great difficulty are now all out in public. 